I feel like we haven't won in a long time. Uh, it's been a long month for us, but it's always good to get a win. Was there any doubt this week that you would play tonight? Uh, yeah, it was. It was. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to go or not. Uh, Coach Sark sat me in his office, and uh, he just wanted to rest me and uh, see how I feel by Thursday. And uh, Thursday was kind of my test day, and uh, obviously I passed the test. What did you see with Particularly with Jay on tonight, where you were able to find himself. Uh, he was on fire, man. He was on fire. God said, "Keep coming." To me. Uh, he was feeling, he was feeling himself tonight. Uh, he had a chip on his shoulder. He had a certain swag about him tonight, and uh, he made plays for him. You guys had that lull in the second quarter. Uh, how did you? What did you what adjustments did you make to pull out of that? Uh, we just needed completions. We needed completions. We needed to continue to to uh, to get our run game going. And uh, we were kind of out of sync for a minute. Uh, so we started adjusting to what they were doing. They wanted to kind of uh, roll their safeties late. Um, and trying to, trying to muddy my, my reads. And uh, we kind of picked it up. And uh, I mean, guys played awesome tonight. Keith, the, the play where Cason got hurt, was that ball a little bit under the front? It was. Did you want to go it was. Okay. It was under the front. Um, probably go it further. Uh, he probably wouldn't have been, been injured. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's just a tough situation. Um, but I definitely could have let him a little bit more. And he, who knows, he could have finally scored that down instead of being injured. What's the, the offense about with tonight? Kind of do for the psyche and the confidence going forward? Uh, we know we got a long way to go. Uh, it's good to kind of get our get healed for the bye week. We know we have Colorado. They're going to come in here and try to play hard. Um, and we know we have a stretch down the road. We have UCLA and guys like that down the road. Uh, but it's one game at a time. It truly is. Um, we're going to enjoy this win, uh, but we got a lot of work to do. How did the film hold up? Been better than it has been last couple of weeks? Uh, yeah, it has. Uh, I told Coach, man, this is the best my thumb felt in the past past three weeks since before Stanford. Um, <laughs> I think I heard it in the first half of Stanford, and I could hardly palm the ball for two or three weeks. Um, I played through the pain, um, and uh, it felt awesome tonight. That rest really helped, and uh, this bye week could be all for me. It didn't look like I didn't take it up tonight. Like, no. Nah. Nah, it felt that good. Uh, it was probably about 90% tonight, um, so it's healing, um, and that's encouraging for me, man. Very encouraging. Did you have to convince Sark at all? Words or words or just something Thursday? Uh, Sark already knew that I was going to rehab my butt off um, so I could play. You know, I don't like sitting out. Um, I love practicing. I love this game. And uh, you almost got to carry me out in order for me not to play. Uh, but if I was good enough to throw, I knew I was going to play. All I needed to do was test my accuracy out. And that's what Thursday was about. Make sure that I'm making all the throws that I've been making over the past five years. And I did that. Keith, what was going on in the running game to get Bishop to go off like that? Uh, well, first off, I think our offensive line did a hell of a job. Um, opening up lanes uh, for Bishop to run through. And uh, we had some compl complimentary passes off of Bishop. And we were hitting them, hitting them up top. Uh, some play action, some of the play action game. And, uh, but I think Bishop did an awesome job. I think he had an outstanding night. I think he was over, over 200 yards rushing. Um, I think 180 in the first half or 188 in the first half, uh, a breakout game for him. How did your linemen, you think, respond to last week all they heard about? Um, they responded well. Uh, I'm proud of them. Uh, Eric Culver is getting better and better. Um, but every time I have to kind of get upside their heads a little bit, if I'm getting hit a little too much, you've probably seen a couple of clips of me getting a little frustrated when I was getting hit. Uh, but I think, I think they did an outstanding job tonight. Keith, there was a point in time, I think in the second quarter, you guys played four straight times. What, what was Cal doing to kind of throw you off your rhythm? Was, they were just rolling, rolling coverage this late. Uh, they were a quarters team. We know that they were a too high safety team. Uh, and this is probably the most cover three that we've got all year in a lot of man-to-man -man coverage. Uh, so we just made our adjustments at halftime, and uh, we came out ready to play in the second half. All right, thanks.